Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna open the Nerf and Strike Elite Disruptor. Here's the front of the package. And here's the back. Okay, let's open it. Everything included in the package is the instructions, six and strike elite darts, and the blaster itself. This basically is the upgraded version of the strong arm. And I have a strong arm right here to compare it with. Here's the disruptor next to the strong arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the disruptor and then I'm gonna do a comparison um, between the disruptor and the strong arm. So the disruptor has one tactical rail on the top, some iron sights, and three sling mounts. One on the back of the handle, the priming handle, one on the bottom of the grip, and one in front of the trigger but behind the barrel on the bottom. To load this, you just put the darts in the barrel, and to fire it, you just cock it and shoot. And you can also do slam fire with this. Now let's compare it to the strong arm. Basically, both of these are very similar, but I'm gonna talk to you about the main differences. The very first difference is the loading. This one, the barrel does not come out. It is fixed inside of the gun, and all you can do is just load darts in it like this. Put some darts in, and there, you can't take it out of the gun. This one, the cylinder comes out when you're loading it. You press this button and pop it out. And even though it seems cooler to me, to have it like spinning and do that stuff. This one is probably a better idea. It's probably more convenient because if you're actually in a battle, when you're loading, you, when you load your darts in, it takes longer to push the button, pull the barrel out, put the darts in, and then push it back in. When all you need to do with this is just load the darts in. So it's probably, that's probably something better for this one, faster reloading. Um, and yeah, both of the barrels hold six darts, or cylinders. Another thing I found just from looking at these two was on the strong arm, it has this bottom piece here, so if you're running and you hit something, you don't damage your barrel, it just hits here. This one does not have a piece on the bottom, the barrel is open. It's that That is actually better for the strong arm, so if you're running and you hit something, you don't damage your barrel, you just damage this piece here which is not a very big deal, although you could like mess something up with your cylinder here. Um, then on the priming handle, the sling mount is up on the top, where on the strong arm, it's not on the top. It has iron sights here instead of this piece here. The strong arm does have a sling mount on the priming handle. Instead of on the top, it's in the back. And both of them do have the ready indicators, so when it's not cocked, it's black. It's cocked, it's orange. Ready indicators also on the strong arm. Then another thing I found was how this one, um, the sling mount is actually built into here. It's like the grip and then they cut this hole out for a sling mount to go in. The grip on this one, um, it has the grip and then they like actually had this piece sticking out of the bottom of the grip. For how comfortable the grips are, to me they're just the same. Um, the grips only are a little bit different. Um, the main difference I see in the grip is how on this one, it's like a straight grip right here, and then it just has this one bump here. This one, it's basically a straight grip, and it does have the bump here, except the strong arm just looks like it has a bigger bump right here. Another difference is how right here on the strong arm, this extra piece is coming straight down, or this one, you can see it's actually kind of curved. Um, and then, yeah, another difference is how this one has this extra sling mount here. Strong arm doesn't. Then, um, yeah, they basically work the same, shoot the same. On the strong arm, it has these holes in the trigger. On the disruptor, it doesn't. For the left sides of the gun, the disruptor says the name right up here, or in the strong arm, it says it on the bottom. And up on the right side, on the right side, on the handle of the strong arm, it says Nerf. Where on the handle of the disruptor, it says Elite. And then um, here, it says on the strong arm, it says Elite here. And on the disruptor, it says Nerf here. 
So it's kind of like switched around on the on the two blasters. And then the strong arm on the bottom, disruptor on the top. To me, those are the main differences I found. If you find any more differences, type them in the comments because I haven't really seen any more differences between these two, except for the colors, obviously, but let's shoot this. So this blaster, the disruptor shoots up to 90 feet. I'm gonna shoot that column right there. The darts are going right. That dart went left. So I had three darts hit the column Two darts go a little bit to the right, and one dart go a little bit to the left. Next, I'm gonna shoot slam fire as fast as I can. Um, so this is gonna be six darts. Three, two, one, go. That was six darts on slam fire. So overall, I think this blaster is pretty cool. If you like the strong arm, but you want an upgrade to it, this is um, a good blaster for you because basically that's the whole point of this gun, upgrade to the strong arm. And yeah, so that's the end of the video. Bye YouTube, thanks for watching, please subscribe. Peace out.